If you're planning to fly for the holidays, brace for a jump in ticket prices. The Wall Street Journal reports Thanksgiving week flights in the U.S. and the Caribbean cost more than 9% above last year. And Christmas week fares are up more than 7%. CBS News travel editor Peter Greenberg is with us from Las Vegas. Good morning. Good morning, Nora. So why are airfares so much higher? Well, it all gets down to capacity. You see, in the past, the airlines could blame this on factors they couldn't control, like fuel prices. This year, it's about a factor they can control. That means how many planes they're flying and how many seats they're offering. They've shrunk capacity almost across the entire United States, and as a result, you've got more people competing for fewer seats. Planes are full. In fact, they're flying at about 85% load factors, Nora. That's about, well, essentially full. And the planes haven't flown this full since 1945. Is this likely to continue so that this is not simply a spike but a trend? It is, Charlie, and the reason for that is that the airlines are no longer fighting for traffic they didn't want in the first place. They're looking for high-yield business class travelers where the money is. So cities in Brazil are going to start trumping places like Orlando. So, Peter, what are some of the destinations that are most affected? Well, if you look at this chart, it's pretty severe. Tampa, up over 15 percent. Atlanta, Washington, D.C., almost all of South Florida, Chicago, New York City, Phoenix, and Las Vegas. They're all taking a hit with very high prices. So this is what I always struggle with. So should I book now for holiday travel, or do you wait and try and get something cheaper because the rates will go down? Oh, rates are not going to go down. Procrastinators will pay even a higher penalty if you wait. But it all also gets down to when you want to fly. For example, if you want to fly the Wednesday before Thanksgiving, remember, they made a movie like that. It was called Planes, Trains, and Automobiles with John Candy and Steve Martin. You don't want to do that day. If you can try to fly out the morning of Thanksgiving and then don't fly back on Sunday, you'll pay higher rates again. Try to come back on Friday or Saturday when everybody else is at the mall and you can actually get a, about a 10% reduction in fares. So you're saying the only, place to, only way to find bargains is change when you want to travel. Exactly. For example, the week after Thanksgiving is traditionally the dead week. Nobody flies then. You can own the airlines. Same thing to do with the week after uh, New Year's. Now, there's one more thing you have to understand. Unfortunately, though, Peter, my family's having Thanksgiving dinner on Thanksgiving. <laughs> yes, <laughs> well, okay, let me, let me walk you through that. If that's the case, and look, I look at Thanksgiving as an obligatory dysfunctional family get-together anyway. So if you want to travel on Thanksgiving, travel on Thanksgiving Day and come back on that Friday or Saturday. You will save money. Okay. With, it would seem to be there was some opportunity for somebody to make a lot of money, even though the load factor is pretty high by offering uh, an attractive deal to an attractive place going at the right time. Exactly. And you know what? The attractive places are in Europe. You know why? They don't know from Thanksgiving. They don't know from Turkey Day. And the airlines still have to fly those planes because of bilateral agreements with governments. Those planes will be relatively empty. All right. Peter, good to see you. I love Thanksgiving, by the way. It is I, I, I thought so, yeah. <laughs>